Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel short VBA code series that is running into my channel. So friends, today in this video, we are going to use the nested for loop to create a multiplication table from 1 to 10. At first, we need to go to the developer tab, click on Visual Basic or you can directly press the Alt and F11 key from your keyboard, right? Here click on insert and insert a new module. You can nest one for loop inside another for loop. We are going to use nested for loops to create a multiplication table, right? So at first we need to write the sub following your sub procedure name. I am naming it as nested for each multi application table right hit enter come to the next line now here we need to declare our variables and we need two variables so we are using dim to declare our variables row as and the type will be an integer right hit the tab button to autofill it put a comma now it's time to declare our next variable that will be column as and this will also be as integer right hit enter come to the next line here type for row equals to 1 2 10 hit enter press the tab button to come to the next line of row here type for column equals to 1 2 10, right hit enter come to the next line of column by pressing tab here type cells open the bracket type row plus 1 comma column plus 1 close the bracket dot value equals to row into column right hit enter come to the next line of this one type next call hit enter come to the next line of first for here type next row hit enter now close your visual basic editor now it's time to set our data right we have put our row from 1 to 10 and column will be also 1 to 10 so here we are going to write 1, 2 and it will be from train. Just select it and drag it to the K. Now type here 1, 2 then select it and drag from the corner 1, 2, 10. Now we are going to insert a button here right we are going to insert a button right here and we are going to assign our button with the newly created VBA code change your button name I am changing it as calculate click on outside to get out of the design mode now click on this button and see what happens I am clicking it look at here we got our table without calculating anything manually isn't it cool friends so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video i'll come back soon with another interesting video of visual basic course i will give you the download link of this excel workbook please check that download that and till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing